Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to import data into a new SharePoint list from an Excel file. So I'm going to go and create a new list and get that data from Excel. Let's upload this file now. It shows you very clearly that you should be using the format as table a feature in Excel, which I 100% agree with. So I'm just going to open the Excel file here and in Excel online, you'll see that the data is there. And this is a list of Australian land improvement projects that I found online that I found useful to work with. As you see, it has a bunch of projects that have been approved or canceled or in progress and so on. A few things that I'm going to do. First, of course, I'm going to do the format as table as requested by the wizard. I'm also going to look at these columns and make sure that the first available one on the left is indeed the title. Because if it isn't, as in this case, the project title, then or this one will become the, the SharePoint item title. So you want to make sure that the first available text field is indeed a title. Because in SharePoint, the titles are very, very important. The title field is very important for search and also it's going to be displayed in forms and so on. So the title field is important. Also, I want to make this long, long uh, column name here. I want to make that a bit shorter. Approved budget is enough for that, right? I'm done with that and make sure it's saved. Yes, it is. Great. So I can just go back here and refresh. And here's the data. Now the project title, but it's good. Project ID, good, that's a uh, single line of text. Now these things, the state, uh, the regions, they're actually choices, of course. And um, the SharePoint import wizard here can make that decision and make choice columns for you based on the available choices in the data that you have. So that's a really powerful feature. Single line of text, uh, this can be a choice also. Multiple lines of text, that's not a good choice, of course. For some reason, it did not pick up that change. I did. I'll fix that later. Then funding appropriation. That is a choice also. And the status is a choice. All right. So then we'll just do next and give that a better name. So projects. And now it's creating the list. And not only is it creating the list, it's importing all the data also. So I don't have to retype anything there. So that's good. So it's 100% complete. There's 360 different projects in there so we have the title project id the project description is good and as you see the that title did not get picked up so let's rename that now column settings edit that and let me show you that uh, these columns are actually choice fields now as you see, the states, they have picked up those available states there. Regions have picked up the, the, the available options and um, funding appropriation and so on. So those choices were indeed picked up in the wizard. That concludes this demo on how to import data into a new SharePoint list from an Excel file. Thank you for watching.